the, the original K1 Max champion, Andy, the power sour. Oh, Andy, yeah. great to see you once again. You know, I've been watching you for years and years and years, but they say you should never meet your hero. Ah, so I just want, I just want to ask you, what's, it, what's it like to finally feel? meet me? Of course, <laughs> when I meet you, I have been already several times. No, I know you've got tingles of up course, your spine. Brother. But listen, let's be serious. Another fantastic event here, Century 18, on an absolutely ridiculous venue Once on again. the beach, on the Black Sea, Varna, Bulgaria, a, a mouth-watering setting, legends everywhere, and the fight so far, this is the fourth fight of the evening, and they've all been fantastic up to now. Already, yes, you're totally right, you know, two first two fights with extra rounds, so for all the spectators and people who are watching, you know, that's Amazing. And don't tell anyone, but I, I did predict those extra rounds. No way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you? Uh, uh, well, it's, uh, this bald head is like a crystal ball, you know. So here we go, Morocco versus Spain. And both these guys have looked very, very focused and intense. Exactly. Nice so check. That was a very Hagi. stiff check. Yeah. <laughs> I, for now, I already know uh, El Hagi. I see him in the past already at Sanchi. And he's a really explosive fighter. So far, Fernandez, I don't know him yet, but uh, let's see if he can surprise us. Well, similar age, both these guys, but uh, Alex Fernandez from Spain, 21 years of age, so m uh, much less experienced than the Moroccan um, El Hajj. Yeah. You know what was so so uh, nice to see that there are so many solid fighters already on a young age nowadays. Well, I think we went through a phase of a shortage of what we would call tough guys. And maybe we've got a wave now coming back. Perhaps we've had to reach or put our reach further. Like maybe the, the Europeans, maybe it's the Westerners who are becoming... Uh, yeah. Weak. Let's say that. Um, let's say that. Uh, well, I didn't. I didn't say it. Well, I did say it's it. It's in the air. Uh, it's in the ground. Yeah. But uh, go further afield. Azerbaijan, Morocco, um, some Kazakhstan. Dazik, look at the guys coming from Dagestan nowadays. So tough, tough as old boots. And but still out of Holland. You guys are still producing fantastic kickboxers. I agree. So far, it's all uh, Haji Al Haji. So far, it was. He's connecting, he's uh, trying to make the attacks, he put some pressure. And it looks, he's setting up. I mean, he's, throw, he's throwing a low kick, he's throwing a few, there, a feint of a jab. He's trying to set up a big bomb. Exactly, he's body language, he's trying to control, try to get in the right distance, and when he's in the right distance, he will explode. But so far, it looks like Fernandez is a little bit used to this style. Because he's controlling it, he doesn't mind go backwards, uh, moving around the ropes. So let's see if he can surprise Al Haji. Yeah, and he tried. He, he he threw the ideal counter there. It took a low kick um, and threw a straight right, straight back. But the but the straight right missed. Exactly. That's what you can say. The guy is just 20 years old and already connecting. Timing well, so mm. Mm, let's see what it brings for the next two rounds, if we can make it to the second round. He's got a very Muay Thai influenced look about him, the way he's bouncing. Yeah, yeah, standing straight, waiting for the momentum, good solid kicks. Great defense though. But El Haji, as you said, super explosive. I mean, his physique is built for throwing big bombs. Yeah, exactly. Um, but so far, he didn't connect with Grant. Yeah. But ah. that's, that's mostly in the beginning, right? In the beginning, they are all touchy and try to find the right way, try to connect. And when the guys get excited a little bit more, do you see the guys hitting each other more and more? Yeah, and now we've got to wonder how the judges are going to score it. Aggression is one thing, but punches landing uh, in the score, so, should we say the scoring area? Yeah. But actual punches and techniques that land and do damage the yeah. judges have got to really have their eye on the action yeah so like you said it's the one who is going forward is mostly taking the eye of the judges and the audience of course but in the meantime who has the clear shots but once again well, with a 
being the aggressor and having the clean shot, then it will be easy for the judges. But can you win a K1 rule? Can you win a kickboxing fight on your back foot? Countering. It should be originally, but I don't, I don't think so, so far. But if you're so in control, why not? I think they should change that that way. But so far, we can see Alhaji is taking the advantage just mm. by pressuring. His uh, appearance looks strong. He looks really good. He took a knee there, but it was pushed to the ground. Good counterattack, but a good kick also for Fernandez. And nothing, there's nothing really that either guy have done to bother their opponent in terms of sort of putting them on the back foot. Yeah. But El Haji's definitely, he does seem to have the power advantage from what I, from what I can see. El Haji is looking to his corner to see what he can do by the coaches, telling him what to do. But so far he's getting stuck every time. So he goes in, maybe too hard, and Fernandez controlling the distance. And, he's not and Fernandez has got the range to do that. Exactly. And he's not forcing too much, it looks like. But and that was a great example there. That was a superb straight right that El Hadji threw, but he was out of range just yeah. by two inches. So I would recommend to, for Hadji to go with fast double legs of feint. See if he can step by, but yeah, then he needs footwork. But as you can see, Fernandez is really in control. He's avoiding everything. Exactly, and he doesn't mind to go backwards. And so should should El Haji be looking to um, to kill that lead leg of Fernandez to stop his mobility? Yeah, I, then I he's going to be able to get inside that. quicker. Yeah, that, that's, my, that's more my style. I, you know, I don't like You can see how he is just focused on the hands. You see, he wants to come close, he wants to come close, and box. And now eventually he kicks, and also his coaches, coaches are already screaming from, yes, yes, that's how it, how it has to go. This is, the, this is the point. This is the thing we just spoke about, but he's yeah. not listening, I think. Maybe he looks a little bit frustrated, Grant, don't you think? He is getting frustrated, and it's because he's out of range. But now he's starting to use the low kick. Second low kick already, yeah, now. Already, maybe too late, but... And again, there was an opportunity again, but... So we're coming up to 30 seconds left of this second round. It's been an intriguing match and a difficult one to score, I have to say. <laughs> and uh, I think El Hadji is becoming more and more frustrated as this fight goes on. Yeah. Uh, there's a low kick again. And his corner is saying to double up with the low kick. Exactly. Because the guy is not blocking. Fernandez is not blocking. So why he shouldn't do it? Oh, there was a, a little low, low blow yeah. there. Only, f only a few seconds to go till the end of this round. So, rest enough. Well, I'd be fascinated if I could speak French to understand what Mehdi El Haji's corner are going to say to him now before he goes yeah. out to this third and final round. Because either fighter can win this fight. Yeah. At the moment, Fernandez is ahead on my scorecard, my unofficial scorecard which incidentally is never wrong. Yeah. Um, you see El Haji is frustrating, even though he takes the eye of everybody's uh, everybody's eye. But so far, I think Fernandez is in control. To be honest, Grant, I would say it's a draw so far. Around each? I think. Okay. Now, look at it in the slow motion. Uh, El Haji's boxing is fantastic, although he hasn't got his range Connected yet. yet. Yeah. But his low kick is technically not there. Yeah. Maybe uh, in, in for now it's it's just he didn't make too many logs yet, so you don't see the damage yet. So and now we're already in round three. So what he needs to do now is just come close and try to have a good oh, yeah. hit on the chin. Oh, no, he started with a low kick now. Well, it's interesting. Have a look at Alex Fernandez. Whoa, there it is. There's that punch. Once he gets his range, and again. Yeah. He did two low kicks, so he took the attention on the legs, and then up in the defense. Stop, stop. The mind is going to the legs, and then the gap. Exactly what you said. Inside, the inside low kick just to distract him. Boom. Yeah, and boom. I think he listened to his corner eventually.
So happy of that, but now it's, all, it's time for Fernandez to, to be the aggressor now because or else he's going to lose this fight, I think. And here comes another low kick. I think he's trying to find the right momentum again. Half is that low kick, half mid kick. Counters from Fernandez. But he's, fin he's finally found Allez, some success yeah. with that low yeah. kick. You see it in his face. You see how he looks? He feels now he's like a fish in the water. You know, he feels the momentum. You know, he's yeah. the aggressor. He's in his... He's one of these guys, once he's found his range, he yeah. knows he's got the power Dangerous. to hurt anyone. Dangerous as hell, then. And he was frustrated up to this round. Yeah. And there he goes. So, Fernandez, come on, you're 20 years old. Hopefully he... Having the point somewhere that he can find that he needs to go for it. Because now he's not going to win this fight. I'm oh, wondering whether. Sharp knee. Have a look at the damage on the on the right shin of, uh, of Fernandez, Fernandez. Just yeah. above his tie wrap. His ankle wrap. I don't know whether that damage was there before the fight or whether that's happened during this fight. Just see when it when his yeah, shin comes straight onto his yeah, to the guard. Also there. from oh yeah, I see a little, little red. I mean, it's nothing major, damage. but yeah, it's just, just skin. If you can see, too, if you look at Fernando's defense now, his elbows are really wide now. Like you said, he has a kind of tight style. So I would aim now. I was, would recommend how you go to the body. A liver punch. That's a big throw. So we've got 40 seconds left of our third and final round. And El Hadji has made a huge change uh, in, in his uh, aggression. Last round, yeah, yeah, and he does. Dominating this round. Low kicks landing. He's had some success with some heavy punches. Fair play to Fernandez. He's, it's anyone's fight. Spinning back fist. Back fist. No, speed up, speed up, speed up. Oh. And <laughs> uh, El he really really wants it. <laughs> Last few seconds, guys. And, so. and there we go. Third and final round over with. Well, so, Grant. Oh, my goodness. I little might, advantage you know for what? Haji, don't you think? I'm going to give it two rounds to one to El Haji from Morocco. I agree. But. And ladies and gentlemen, that was an incredible fight from two fantastic warriors. I'm not going to predict a fourth and final round. Four cards from the referees and judges. But it wouldn't surprise me if there was As one. Albert Krauss is That's all I'm going to say. Taking the scorecards together, well, I'd like to call up the next special awards presenter as Mr. Andy Sauer. <laughs> so, hey guys, he was see you in, guys. Have fun. Same GAT. Multitasking. There. Andy Sauer runs away from and the commentary comes, desk. Mr. Andy Sauer. Jumps in the ring like a young. Look at him, he's like a teenager as he springs into the ring. Every time, I have to say, ladies and gentlemen, every time I see Andy Sauer, he's absolutely enjoying life. He's really got a passion for what he's doing kickboxing, martial arts, combat sports. He's been in the game a long, long time. And he really does contribute in a positive way every time he goes to a venue, a and show, we have a come seminar, to a final decision whatever. From the judges, number one. Here we 27 go. 27 to 30. 29 to 30. 27 to 30 in favor of the blue corner. Well, ladies All and the gentlemen. Way from Morocco. Mehdi Ait El Hajj. There we go, Mehdi. Congratulations. Ait El Hajj from Morocco wins that contest. He was frustrated during that fight, I'm sure. Alex Fernandez in the first round and he's really, really frustrated the Moroccan. Right there but once the Moroccan no found his range, Andy Sauer started employing some low kicks, especially Here in that third and trophies. final round, he came but back what strong. What sportsmanship from both fighters. But again, win or lose, both these guys can go home holding their Please, heads team, up high. For photo. Every fight tonight has been world class, and we're only four fights in. We and move also, on. Alex Fernandez will be getting a appreciation plaque.
ladies and gentlemen, look at these trophies. Look at those certificates of achievement. The venue, the setup here and is so very so reminiscent hour. of the original K1 back in Japan. The days when we fell in love with this sport.